What's going on everybody? James Paul Shepard from Filmcore Digital and today we're going to address this comment right here. So we have been absent for a couple months now on doing new content and that's because we've been taking care of some personal stuff behind the scenes but we're getting back into creating more content for this channel. So with that being said we might have missed some of your guys' comments on tutorials you wanted and we apologize for that. Going forward if you want a tutorial for an effect send us an email or join the Discord and ask us there. Today we're gonna to be doing a really easy superhero takeoff effect, so let's get into it. Now that we're in DaVinci Resolve and you have your footage, you're going to bring your main clip to the timeline on track two. Next, you're gonna take your background or clean plate and drag that to track underneath your main footage. Select the main footage right where you jump and head over to the inspector under speed change and select the freeze frame. Make sure the freeze frame clip is selected and head over to fusion. Now that we're in fusion, click an empty space and then select the polygon mask. Zoom in on your subject and start masking around. It doesn't have to be super accurate since you will be adding motion blur, but get close enough. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up. Once you're done with that, connect the polygon to your footage. Head over to the inspector and soften those edges. Now select your media node and hit shift space and select a transform node. With the transform node selected, head over to the inspector and click the keyframe on center position. Move forward four frames and drag your footage out of the frame. should look something like this. With the transform node still selected, head back to the inspector and select the settings tab and add motion blur. You can go ahead and play around with this. And that's it. And that's a super easy way to do a superhero takeoff effect. You can add assets like smoke and ground break, and those can all be found on productioncrate.com. There's a link in the description, check them out. They have a really nice subscription plan with a thousand different assets for all your videos. So definitely check them out. But if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe. And remember, keep creating.